Welcome to Land the House. I'm Seth. So for the past few months, I have been giving you some micro hydro videos to watch, and they've all been based here on this little cascading pond. And normally the flow rate here is somewhere around 60 to 100 gallons a minute, depending on the time of year and how the weather has been. Well, Hurricane Fred hit recently, and there was about 2,000 gallons pouring over this pond. That's a lot. <laughs> so uh, my neighbor had installed this water wheel, and uh, it is no longer turning. Let me show you real quick the uh, damage that this water did to this wheel the day that it was raining so much. Here's a little update on the water wheel in our massive flood today. We've had eight hours of rain and about six inches and it has bent the flume or the pipe in half. That's really incredible, the power of water. Needless to say, I think that design did not work very well. So what happened was, First of all, so much water was pouring down that trough or that half pipe that it just uh, folded it like a taco. And then when the water stopped, it uh, released pressure and the whole thing just fell down there. Uh, so that's kind of what's happened here on his wheel. He'll have to uh, either bend that back out and put some board under it or uh, get the other half that he's got to um, put back up here. So uh, yeah, I'm not sure what you can do to prevent that from happening when there's that much water flowing over this thing. Now, uh, a lot of people were watching the wheel video and saying that it looked like the scoops or cups were in the wrong direction. There is actually a slight scoop in, in the correct direction, as you can see here, but it's really subtle. So I think what he needs to do is um, put some material on the edge of each of these to make the cup bigger. I don't know, uh, another small board or a piece of pipe or something to hold all that water in there. Uh, but anyway, he'll have to uh, work on that later on. And uh, also I think he needs to get a different motor. But anyway, so that's what's happened here to the water wheel. It's kind of out of commission for a little while. When my neighbor told me that he had his wheel completed and he was going to be putting it right here where I had been doing my testing, I moved my four inch turbine from Langston's Alternative Power. Uh, I've just been doing tests with it. He's not selling that yet. We're just seeing how well it was going to perform. Uh, so I moved it to the other side of the pond, which is uh, way around over there. And uh, that side normally has about two to 250 gallons a minute. And the water coming over that side was incredible. So let's drive over there real quick. I brought a ladder and you'll see why I did that here in just a bit. So now on the other side of the pond, this is the waterway I've been using for more testing of this four inch unit. <laughs> You can see here's what it looks like now on normal flow. And uh, let me show you what it looks like on really, really high flow. It must be pushing a couple thousand. And I have lost my four inch turbine over there in the water because of this massive flow. That's quite incredible. So uh, here's what the turbine looks like now that it has been washed out pretty good. Uh, yeah, I don't even know where the, the downpipe is. It may be stuck over in there somewhere. Um, so that was right here on this little spot, just skirted along the edge. The downpipe went right there. Uh, so I brought a ladder. Let's see if we can get down there and find out where everything is. Uh, so the water didn't get too high in here, um, so I don't know where things have washed off to. Because um, there's one pipe here that should be about five foot on this little siphon point. Anyway, 
Uh, I'm hoping my lateral reach down here enough that we can get down into that and uh, walk through snake land and get that. So. I don't think I really like this idea because there really are a lot of snakes around here. And maybe we'll scare them all off pretty quick. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna put the camera down for a second and see if I can get right over there. Okay, made it. So we should have a down pipe that is seven foot long over here. I think I see it. Yeah, it stuck off over in there. So the tape really held it together, but I don't know where that piece went off to. It's probably floated off in there somewhere, and I don't know that I want to go search for it. Uh, so let me see if I can somehow get this back up there. Okay, got that out. Could have been worse. Wasn't too bad. Uh, let's see what the damage is here. I wonder if this thing will still spin. Yeah, seems to. So that's working. We'll have to uh, get this out sometime and put it back in the water and see how well it does. I'm noticing that this little fern co is a bit smushed, but that shouldn't make any difference. And uh, never found that. Uh, other pipe there who knows where it went off to probably could fly the drone up and find it but I think for now we'll just consider it to be lost unless we can see it right over here somewhere yeah I have no idea the uh, water here shoots off into several different directions this being the primary one right here um, so I have no idea where that thing has gotten off to. Here's a couple video clips of around my local town. It uh, had water up about four foot here at the post office. It's uh, lapping up against the building and it's not supposed to do that. It was uh, quite a wild storm. We had several people lose houses and campers in my area. Um, so hopefully you fared well during this big storm. And uh, yeah, it was crazy. Anyway, um, we will continue doing some hydro testing. Hopefully this thing is still in working order. I'll leave it here for now and come back later and get it back into the water. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.